Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today I will be printing a um, a little dial. So if you can look right there, we have this little thing that is very like poorly designed because it's so slick. And what you do is you actually are supposed to push it, and you can see a little thing. It's not, I mean I've kind of learned to use it, and then you push it in to actually select. So if I want to change the speed of the print. I push there and that can go up and down. But it's tough for other people who don't have really much experience with that. I've used it quite a bit so I kind of know how it works. But it'd be much better if I had an easier thing that maybe I could grab and turn. So I'm printing out a new version. A new one that is easier to grip and um, doesn't doesn't uh, mess up prints as easily because I've accident accidentally when I was trying to push it in it's actually done flip to the side and um, made me actually cancel the print rather than pause it because there's the two options um, right here and here to pause and cancel it and I it as I was pushing the button it's also the dial so it rolled to the next spot and then it hit cancel which is really frustrating so with that there could be a lot of frustration so I'm printing a new one so I'm gonna be printing it in black ABS filament and um, so I hope this works out yeah so I'm going to get the print started as soon as it's up to temperature, which will need to be, I have it, um, as you can see, probably right there, um, 80 degrees Celsius for the build plate, and then I'm going to have it 130 or 230 degrees um, Celsius for the nozzle. Here we go. Okay, so the print got done, and it's right here, and it turned out pretty good. This was actually the second print. I tried the first one, and um, it stopped like maybe a third of the way through, and or I had to stop it because it was peeling off the build plate, and it was eventually just going to push it out of the way and start making a glob like it's done before, and mess up a whole bunch. So to ensure that it didn't happen again once it laid down the brim, I put some tape on it. I don't know if that was necessary, but this time it did not unstick, which was nice, and it actually printed completely. So I'm going to pull this off and figure out how to install it first, and then I'll show you guys how to install it. It's, it's pretty stuck on there. Hold on. Okay, I got it off the build plate. It actually took me a few minutes, and I finally pried it off and launched it into the trash can and pulled that out of the trash can so here it is it's a nice looking little knob it actually turned out nicer looking than I was actually expecting I didn't actually think much about the how it'll actually turn out it's nice that it has a little um, like a little fin type thing on there that you can grip as trying to spin it so I'm going to like I said figure out how to install this and then show you guys Okay, so um, I got it off after a little while, and um, so here's the piece right here, and um, so I'm basically just switching out this guy for this guy. And with this one, it's taller so that you can actually grab it and twist it rather than just kind of try to spin it with your fingers. With It's actually a rather smooth surface for what it is, so what I need to do is first I gotta clear out the hole a little bit if you can see it it doesn't want to focus oh well there's a hole that's about this size but it has some support material in it so I'm gonna get that out and then pop that right onto that right here okay I got the material it was actually really quick um so you don't want to just put it on like this because then because it's just a hole um it won't do anything so you want to be able to put this through this side and then pop this on the other side. So I'm going to see if I can get a better view of it with the camera. 
Okay, that's a little bit of an awkward angle, but you can see the top part where the knob goes in, and you can see that the board's pulled out here. So, this guy has got to go uh, right in here to spin, and this one has to go on the bottom side. And if you have to screw it together, it should pop together, which it looks... I don't know how easy that's going to be. Hmm. Okay, well... I'll get this in there. And try to push it on. <sighs> That's not good. I feel like I'm going to break something pushing that much, that much force. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the hole out a little bit bigger so that I'm not putting too much stress on that because I feel like pushing on that with as much strength that I have can break it, which is a stupid idea to do. So I'm going to drill this out a little bit and then try it again. Okay, so I managed to drill it out too much. Um, so it actually slipped, so I just shoved a piece of uh, um, paper towel in there and I'm going to see if it'll go in together. And there we go. It's in. So now I'm going to screw the screws back in and put it all back together and see if it works. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, so, yeah, I put it all back together. And um, because, yeah, because this didn't fit, what I had to do was I was going to use a hot glue gun, squirt some hot glue in there, and then drill it back out again then it would be a little bit softer of material that would fit around it better. But I couldn't find the hot glue gun. So then I tried taping this little knob because and I didn't want to have to reprint the whole thing. So I tried retaping that, or just taping over it so that it would take up more space and fit on better, but that didn't work. And then I thought, you know what, what if I just mix up some acetone and some put some shavings and stuff from old uh, um, support and raft or brim material and so I did that, I mixed it up in a jar, and then I poured it into the hole. Hopefully to fill in the space and, um, yeah, fill in the space. So I'm seeing if it's gonna work. And it did. So it works. So actually, it spins, but I don't know if it actually works. So I'm gonna plug it back in because I had it unplugged because I opened the whole thing up and turn it back on okay here it goes see I'll zoom it in for you guys uh, oh no okay <laughs> the um the camera battery died, so I had to go charge it again. So, it works fine. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have to um, try to fix it later if it comes off or I have to reprint another one. But for now, it works great. And, yeah. So, if you like this video, remember to give it a, a like. And, of course, if you're interested in seeing more printer mods on top of just knobs, maybe there's different things I can do. I've done, I've 3D printed a little feet for the uh, my printer. Um, I can 3D print, actually, there's whole, lots of mods all, all on Thingiverse that I can 3D print to modify my 3D printer. So, give this video a like if you are interested in me doing more of that. Um, subscribe to my channel because I do all sorts of 3D printing things um, just with this printer. Hopefully in the future I'll be getting another printer that'll be a lot bigger. It'll be about 400 to 300 millimeters um, build plate and this is about 120 by 120 by 120. So it'll be like more than twice as big and it'll be dual extrusion, dual heads, so I can do uh, 3D print models that have um, different colors, like a tree frog. I've seen a tree frog model that has the different colors interwound in it so that there's no way you would have been able to print it with one uh, nozzle and it's like it's one model and you can't do it. So um, I'm going to get into the printer. So if you like 3D printing videos, subscribe to my channel. and. Um, Thanks for watching. Remember to share this video with your friends. Bye.